Hey, Tyler, amazing performance tonight. You guys left the Lakers on their heels from start to finish, but unfortunately couldn't hang on in the, the closing minutes. How will you come back in game five? Um, you know, just bring that same energy, that same focus that we had coming into the night and, you know, the last game. Um, you know, we're down 3-1, so our, our, our backs are once again up against the wall. We're going to have to fight. Uh, the series is not over. Um, we got a, a, a big, you know, hard task ahead, but we, we, we have the right guys and the right group to, to get it done. All right, next up is David Wilson of the Miami Herald. Go ahead, David. Hey, Tyler. Um, you know, game three, you guys, it was, it was tied or you guys were down late, and then you guys kind of took the game over there. A lot of Jimmy at the end. Uh, tonight, it, you guys tied it up finally, and then LeBron, uh, I think, scored like five or six straight just – but what do you feel like was kind of the difference in those last six minutes today where, where they were able to pull away tonight uh, as opposed to you know, two nights ago? Um, you know, at the end of the game, some things go your way sometimes and some don't. Um, you know, they, things started going in their direction. Um, they made a few more plays than us. They hit a couple more shots. And when you do that towards the end of the game, you end up winning, you know, by six. So credit to them. You know, they made some big plays down the stretch. Um, you know, we... Yeah. We were right there. We had we had our hands on it. We could have got it done, but you know, sometimes things don't go your way. All right. Next up, we have Tab Deportes from Puerto Rico. Go ahead. Hi, Tyler. Hello. How much means for you have a Jimmy Butler as a role player and leader in these finals? Uh, yeah, you know Jimmy. He's been out there leading us, playing his his heart out. Um, you know. When we have a guy like that, it makes it much easier for the rest of us to follow him. You know, he's a great leader. Um, he's been out there doing everything for us on both ends of the floor, and you know, we, we appreciate him. Thank you. All right, next up, we have Manny Navarro with The Athletic. Go ahead, Manny. Hey, Tyler. I wanted to see if you could speak to, to uh, Bam's performance uh, tonight, coming back uh, from injury. It felt like... He did a great job there in the paint, rebounding, and just the difference that you felt on the court with him out there. Uh, yeah, it's always different when we have you know, Bam out there. He brings so much to the floor for us um, on both ends. Um, you know, he played played amazing for us tonight. He left his heart out there. You know, he, he did everything. Um, you know, it's not easy to come back and play after sitting a couple games. So, you know, he, he played hard and he did his thing for us. And then if I could, a quick follow, just, uh, you know, what, you, what you've sort of learned with Goran out, you know, having to, to ball handle a lot more and being in the starting lineup, what you've taken away since, since he's been out and what the challenge has been like. Um, you know, just, just relax and be, be patient, let the game come to me. Um, you know, things are happening fast. You know, they're a veteran team over, over there, and they'll try to speed you up with their length and, you know, really try to swarm you, but just, you know, relax and being patient, you know, making the right reads, you know, but it's been good. Thanks. All right, Tyler, that's all. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Duncan, we'll get started shortly. Just waiting for people to raise their hands. And first up, we have Manny with The Athletic. Go ahead, Manny. Hey, Duncan. It, it felt like this was a five-point game either way, the, the whole game tonight. I'm curious what you thought sort of decided it down the stretch in your eyes. Um, we didn't get enough stops. Um, when we did get stops, we didn't do a good enough job rebounding. And then uh, the three-point shooting in the series, I know you, you, you hit some more of them today, but just – the challenge of kind of shooting over those guys with the length. I mean, you, you hit some unbelievable threes. Uh, looked really difficult. What 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 is it that makes the Lakers so tough out there on the on the edge? Um, their length, like you said, you know, they do a good job getting people off the line. Um, you know, they they fly around and they make it tough. You know, they, they don't give up a lot of easy looks. So, um, you know, still thought we got some good ones tonight. Um, that, we, that we could have made, but that's how it goes. Thanks. All right, next up, we have Brandon Tobin. Go ahead, Brandon. Don't you guys have been so great this year, uh, fighting back in close games. You guys have always made the executions 
haven't had a, a situation like this where you take a real gut punch. The mentality of the team right now, uh, is there, you know, a lot of sulking that goes on? Do you guys feel like you want to get right back out there and claw to this thing? It's just a, it's a different position you guys haven't been in all year. Um, obviously, you know, frustration after a game like that, but, you know, we don't, we don't feel sorry for ourselves. You know, we, we felt like we could have done more to win and uh, we just got to find solutions, figure it out. All right, next up, David Wilson with the Miami Herald. Go ahead, David. You kind of always had the feeling that LeBron's going to shake out of what, you know, a slump or anything like that. But you guys did such a good job on him all throughout game three and, and the first half of game two today. Uh, and the first half today, he obviously got going, particularly at the end there. Did you feel like, you know, he kind of adjusted to some of what you guys were doing or it was it just a matter of he's LeBron, he's, he's going to get going? Um, yeah. I, I'd have to watch the film. Um, which I will, but you know, he's, he's a great player. Um, you know, he's got to make it difficult. I thought we did did that really well um, in stretches and you know, even some of the shots that he hit. Those are, those are what they are. You know, Jimmy and, and Andre, whoever was on him, just battled. Um, they, they certainly did their job. All right, next up we have Brandy with Heat TV. Go ahead. Hey, Duncan, tonight you guys definitely hit the Lakers with several blows, fighting to the finish. How key was Bam Adebayo's return? It's great to have him back. Obviously, you know, he does so much for us. Um, just rebounding energy, you know, on, on offense, the ball in his hands a lot. So it's great to have him back out there. Um, yeah, it just, just helps us with our flow, both sides of the ball. All right, next we have Tab Deportes with Puerto Rico. Go ahead. Hi, Duncan. What is the message from the coach staff after the game tonight? So we got to get the next one. Uh, we got to find solutions. Um, got to come together. You know, we can't let this separate us, but instead, um, we got to learn from it, apply it for the next one. Thank you. All right, that's it, Duncan. Appreciate it.